86% battery heading over to Germany and the day is getting better more solar power to us Fastnet where are you? Welcome to Fastnet Hilden in Germany. We just drove the Ionic 5 for the first time on the Autobahn. Hugo has floored it whenever he could. So the battery should be nice and warm. An auto charge has been activated by him yesterday. So does this mean I can just plug in and go? Do you see this? The cables are fighting with each other. Let me fix that. I'll just take this one I'm pushing it a bit because I read somewhere that you should What happens here? It shows blue Fehlgeschlagen But we don't need a card because we set up auto charge So we activated Auto Charge once more in the app. Hugo took the right cable, he's plugging it in, holding it a little bit. What happens? Fehlgeschlagen. What's going on here, Fastnet? I'm not used to this. Shows nice and blue. Activated. Auto charge activated. So we're gonna do it manually. Plug 13 chosen. Shows right over there. We hear the click by the car. Let's see how long the handshake takes. Because the Alpitronic starts counting before it starts delivering. Aha. Uh -huh. 20 seconds or so. Here we go. My Android phone should show us the stats from the volts and the amps because I got my OBD dongle connected to the vehicle. Start at 204, it seems. Let's show you the dash also. It says 22 minutes to 80%. So, will it really take 22 minutes to 80%? As you can see, the dongle shows us the voltage at 676 and the amps at 306. Let's see what happens. Do you see what I see? The Enyaq 80 has just arrived at Fastnet Hilden. There's a Kona charging up. Curious about the statistics for the Enyaq though. So after nearly three minutes, we're now at 210 kilowatt charging speed. Let's show you what happens inside the vehicle. It now predicts 16 minutes from 21% to 80%. At 211 kilowatt. So even though Hugo has floored it several times, 
I have some proof of it on video, but I don't know if we should show it. It is still not maxing out yet, even after being connected for four minutes already. Uh, yeah, so it seems a bit conservative. Five minutes to 30%. I just checked on the Enyaq 80 and it's charging up at 80 kilowatts and it's still at 30% state of charge. So yeah, we're doing pretty much three times that almost. So in six minutes, you can get yourself from 9% to 35%. There is a lot of battery cooling going on. As you can hopefully hear, thanks to my microphone. And Hugo did get the Project 45 edition. Here it also shows you how much the charging level is. Reaching 40%, still not maxing out on the charging speed though. Some Enyaq footage after three minutes already dropping to 76 kilowatt speeds the Enyaq 80 and over here a Ionic 5 at 220 kilowatts now Oh no, the first throttle is already kicking in before 50%. Oh no. Zoe, I don't know if it's arriving or leaving. This looks like an ice vehicle. Here we are at 50%. Big throttle. So let's give you some footage on the voltage. The amps have been dropped significantly but the voltage is now up at 708 already but as you can see we dropped way below the 200 kilowatts so pretty much 10 minutes ago exactly we started the charge at 9 percent 10 minutes later 34 kilowatt hours were added and we're at 54 percent Here we are, after nearly 12 minutes, 60% is reached. Look what Hugo just brought in, snacks and drinks. Oh boy. And we're still doing 170 kilowatt charging speed. Hmm, the diagonals are scary to hit yeah it's true here is the charging indicator and meanwhile a second throttle seems to be active because we're now at 155 kilowatt charging speed let's check our dongle statistics amps dropping Voltage still going up And that seems to be throttle number three here because now we're only at 111 kilowatts Nearly 15 minutes in nearly 70% Life on the road is not bad when you are at the seat and greet with Hugo. Oh yes. Let's check out what's happening over here. 
Yeah, the huge throttle is still active. So the 18 minutes to 80 percent, it's problematic. With this speed, we're not going to get there. I wonder if the battery is too hot because we drove too fast. Even though the 20 minutes before arrival, it was very busy on the road. Lots of limited roads where you could do only 100 or even 80 with road works. So I don't really understand. 75%. So even though the Alpitronic now tells you that we're charging for 18 minutes, not really true because the first 20 seconds were the handshake. Way faster than some of the fastest charging cars I've tried in the past. It took 30 or 40 seconds to even start the session. So in 5 seconds we're really at 18 minutes of actual charging. Right now, I'll take a photo, 77% coming from 9. And it's a Hyundai that promises that you can charge from 10 to 80% in 18 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. So right now, yeah, they have to remove one of these throttles. Um, because right now it's close to truth, but not really working today. But Hugo got faster speed yesterday in the Netherlands. Hey, where is he hiding? Ah, he's talking to the Model S. So we're at 78%. I want to take a photo of the 80% because that's what it's all about if we have to believe Hyundai. 19 minutes to 79%. 80% within 20 minutes. Yes, the famous throttle. Hugo noticed it yesterday at 82%. Suddenly, the vehicle is doing 5 kilowatts. So that's not good. If you want to do a record charge, never go beyond the 80%. I'm showing you the Tesla, but I'm putting the microphone in here. to, um, yeah, So that you can hear that the cooling is still super active. But the throttle is also very active so right now we're just not charging at all meanwhile i want to check in on the enyaq ah that's not a bad curve it's still doing 64. clearly it's not a ionic 5. and this throttle takes its time so if you're wondering why we're still charging we are just having a snack over there and I'm wondering how long is this throttle going to take? Is it the full percentile of 82% that it just waits to hit 83 and then it unleashes again? So it seems it has been taking a couple of minutes already that this throttle to 5 kilowatt charging speed is happening even though we're connected to liquid cooled CCS cables if I'm not mistaken that is they're very thick ah it unleashes it's still at 82 percent and it comes back to life more or less yeah back to where it was yeah to 114 kilowatts 83 percent now so we can check the speed remotely thanks to the dongle that reaches all the way here meanwhile in the fastnet app we're not really in real time because the dongle shows us we're at 87 doing a bit over 50 kilowatts volts amps and battery health maybe it was hugo's phone being connected to the wi-fi that messed it up i'm just showing the charging speed and the people admiring the vehicle so now hugo is not connected to the wi-fi anymore and the fastnet app is completely correct 
So we're still eating some pie or cake, whatever the Germans call it, Kuchen. And we're at 89% because the throttle is huge. It's very real. I don't recommend you ever stay this long, but yeah, since we're eating and we don't need to go anywhere, it's also less than half an hour break. And soon we'll be at 90%. Ninety percent within half an hour of time. E two o eight arrival. Meanwhile, the throttle is super real because we're below thirty kilowatt charging speed. Very cool license plate. It just showed ninety kilowatts for a second for the E two o eight, which is way more than we are getting now. At 30 kilowatts, the throttle is more than real. You should go away. But yeah, we're taking it slow today. 40 minutes, nearly 70 kilowatt hours added. What I also really like at this station is all the AC chargers are really popular, as you can see. You can use your German bank card even to just swipe and go. And if you take the 7 kilowatts, it's only 15 cents per kilowatt hour. Meanwhile, I'm also impressed by the E208. It's still doing above 50 kilowatts, even though it started half full or half empty, whatever you like. We are nearing completion. 70 kilowatt hours added, 43 minutes. Don't do this at home. We're at 99%, still taking 12 kilowatts. Well, I'm surprised by the amount of energy added because we started at 9%, so you wouldn't expect 70 kilowatt hours, no? Or maybe, maybe I'm just miscalculating, but I'm impressed by the amount of energy that we're getting. Still 99%. Ah, 100% to go! Boom! First time. And then you have the armrest. Oh. Up here. A traffic light in Germany with only EVs.